Good morning, everybody. This morning, I have an awesome surprise for you. I want to introduce you to somebody. Possibly one of the first times on this podcast that I have had a guest speaker. So um, I'm going to go and get him ready, and then he'll be right in. Uh, hello? Is anybody here? Um, where did, where did she go? Uh, Megan? Megan? Oh, oh, sorry, Edwin. Oh. Okay, Edwin, so, um, did you meet, did you meet my friends? Uh, no, I don't think that I did. Uh, I was just standing here and looking for you, and I was so, I just felt so vulnerable and exposed. <laughs> oh my gosh, well, it's probably because you don't have any skin on you, nor any clothes or anything, so I can understand how you would feel a little vulnerable, especially meeting them for the first time. All right, yeah, please don't ever do that to me again. I won't, I won't. So, let me introduce you to my friends here. Friends, this is Edwin, and um, Edwin is going to be with us for the next couple weeks as I sporadically start teaching you guys about the systems of the body and about detoxification and just, you know, just your body and how it functions because, because your bodies are awesome, right? Edwin, your body is awesome. Like, I have not seen intestines like that. I don't know if I've ever seen intestines like that. They're really amazing. Now, they are a little high probably higher than you may want them, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Anyway, so um, Edwin's gonna be helping us out because the really cool thing about Edwin is that he comes apart and we get to see all of his cool parts, like really, really great way of learning about the body. So the reason, Edwin, do you mind if I sit you down for a minute? Because I'm a bit of a limelight hog and I need to finish talking with them. No, that's okay. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I want to share with you guys more about just like cleansing your bodies and submitting unto the Lord. And I'm not saying that looks like a certain diet, but I want to just at least teach you about your organs and what they do and how they do it and how our food affects our bodies and the, kind of like the ins and outs of those things. I'm not a doctor, so don't, don't even get that confused. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a person that really, really loves, might be a tad bit nerdy, about the human body and how it works and just cleaning and staying like, you know, pure and functioning the way God wants us to do. But the cool thing is, is that I'm not going to over labor you with like really boring informational videos, just like cool things that I keep learning. And then learning how to take those, that thing, those things to the Lord, because God is supernatural and he overrides worldly law. So we don't have to be bound up in fear about like, if you hear something, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't think my liver's functioning. Whatever you kind of learn from my videos, man, just take it before the Lord and we'll pursue his heart towards your body together. Super cool. Honestly, friends, I just have so many people around me and even myself seeing some things that just need breakthrough. So let's do this together. Join me and Edwin for some videos, just fun little videos about healing and wholeness and um, restoration. Okay, so if you see Edwin coming up in the next few videos or just whenever, like it's going to be really fun and exciting because that's all we can be together. Fun and exciting. It's what we do. But today I just wanted to, just wanted to introduce you guys to get that awkward, like, do I don't know you, you don't know me. We have a mutual friend thing out of the way. And I really think that once you two get to know each other better, um, that you guys are going to really see that you have a lot in common. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I'm, I'm just like happy to share information with people and like, I just love you. I love people. I love you guys. And, um, yeah, I hope you all have a really, really great day. Hasta la vista, babies. Now that she's gone, I can say what I really wanted to say. Somebody get me a cheeseburger. Hey everybody, welcome to dinner with the jocks. Uh, I'm hungry. But mama, I'm hungry. But mama, I'm... So I found this new recipe online um, for raw Brussels sprouts and I've never really done raw Brussels sprouts before. 
um, I think Brussels sprouts, but just never had them raw. So we're going to figure out if this recipe is really good. I'm hoping that it is because, I mean, I started recording this video and, um, yeah. So I'm going to kind of walk you through it right now. I am just washing the Brussels sprouts. Hey, Mr. Brussels sprout. Some of you might care and some of you might not. This is what I use as far as my veggie wash goes. And you can also make a great veggie wash at home with vinegar, uh, lemon juice, and sea salt as well. I get this at Kroger or um, even Whole Foods has it. Just called veggie wash. And I like it just because I feel like the ingredients out of most of the veggie washes are probably one of the purest. But you might know of a better one. Okay, so I washed up the Brussels sprouts. And I realized that when I was looking at my recipe, I was actually missing more ingredients than I thought that I was. So I just relied on my natural instincts to bring this recipe together. Um, I did the logical thing. One, I made guacamole. So if you ever fail at any recipe, always have avocados on hand and just make, just make guacamole. That saves a lot of things. Hopefully you like guacamole. I did this quick, I just like mashed the avocado up. It's not a fancy guacamole, but it's just enough to um, make, me, make me regain some confidence in my food preparing capabilities. So I just made this, put avocado in, some lime juice, um, some sea salt, pepper, whatever. Just whatever I want to throw in there. And then I took my Brussels sprouts and I cut them. So however you want to cut them. Feel free, have some fun. Cut them however you wish. Cut them, put them in the bowl, put some sea salt on them to kind of start tenderizing. So if you have um, vegetables that are a little bit tougher, or like you feel like are a little bit harder to chew and maybe not as fun to chew, put some sea salt on there and it starts breaking them down. You can do that with like kale, cabbages. I do that with anything that's a little bit um, not, as, not as pleasurable at that first bite. So. I put some sea salt on them, started tenderizing it a little bit, dumped some olive oil on there. You can see I'm really precise with the things that I um, do. So for those of you that are type A's, I'm probably going to drive you crazy because I don't measure things. I just get to rolling. Um, if I would have had lemon juice, I would have squeezed lemon juice in there. So lemon juice is always really good to add to anything like this also. Um, then I just started putting in salt and pepper. And then I just drizzled, honestly, with some honey. It sounds really weird, but it really helps bring out some of the flavors. So again, not a lot of honey, and it's not really super necessary, but for me, it just kind of, I don't know, I was playing, I was having fun. One thing led to another, and there was honey. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I did that. Then what I did is I was eating them, and I'm like, okay, that's good. Mm, I could do that on its own. And the longer you let it sit too, the more the flavors just kind of get pulled out. And it really is good. I could eat it by itself now. But before it had sat, I was like, yeah, no, not doing that. I don't know. And I eat grass, people. So, no, I wasn't going to do it. But then I had this guy over here just sitting there. You know, like I said, this is like the confidence rebuilder. But then I took this guy and dipped it in this guy. And, you know, until... The flavors had sat, you know, I was like, I'm going to need that. But I don't think I'm going to need it now. I think I'm going to be able to eat these guys on their own. And make sure you chew. We don't chew enough as a culture bird. Chomp, chomp, swallow. And while your stomach can't help grind that stuff up, really, these teeth, that's what those are for. Really grind up your food. Chew it. Chew it good. Chew it right. Chew it good. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what I did for dinner tonight. And I hope it's helpful for you. I, and I hope, too, that you like it. If you have any questions, let me know. And until then, just know that God loves you. Awesome. And you're awesome. You're awesome! Thank you. <laughs> a happy dinosaur, giant, a happy dinosaur, that is my line. That yummy?